Hello everyone. Identifying weeds in their seedling stages is uh, a great asset to add to your toolbox. So I thought I would show you a few that are growing in the area that I'm trying to naturalize. So the first one that I have right here, this is a wild cherry tree starting. And they have usually have a pretty, a pretty woody stalk to begin with. And then we have, let's see, right here is Invasive Honeysuckle. This definitely, definitely needs to go. Sorry about the cars going by, but I'm really close. I live really close to a busy road. Um, let me see what, let's see, here's some more. This is another Honeysuckle. And... Another one right here. We're underneath a very, very large old maple tree. And the birds live there. They love it. Up right here is poison ivy. When I pull these as such a young seedling, the, uh, the poison doesn't bother me. I don't break out and get a rash from them. And another, well, this one right here, this is a wild grape. I'll show you another stage of this. The wild grape and the poison ivy look very similar. Uh, where did I see those? Here. Right here, this is wild grape. This is wild grape. These are all, all of these right here are all wild grape. This is a honeysuckle right here. We just pull them out, and I just pull them out mostly and just lay them on the ground like this right here. Does it only be a matter of days before they dry up? Another honeysuckle. Um, oh, a hackberry. This is a hackberry tree. Um, hackberry is a native, oh, sorry about the car. Hackberry is a native tree in Ohio but they can become quite weedy. So that's that. When they start getting much taller than this, they can be extremely hard to pull out because their root system just goes crazy. So I like to try to get them like this. Here's another one right here. It rained yesterday, so these are actually coming up pretty easy. Um, here comes another car. So I think that's it. I got the wild grapes, the poison ivy, the hackberry trees, and um, you know, so these are violets. These are wild violets coming up in this area. I'll back up here in a second and show you. Many people consider these weeds, um, but this area here is um, hardly anything wants to grow here, and these started growing, and I'm like, okay, we're going to let them go. So... Now in another area where I had let a couple of them grow, they're about, they're probably about six to eight inches tall. So I believe, and I'm going to back up here, try to show you this tree. So this whole area should fill in with the wild violets. And next year it should look pretty awesome. But I wanted to show you this tree. It is, I can't even tell you how big it is. It's just massive. So forget about my little mess over there. So anyhow, those are those are the weeds, at least uh, four different weeds that you can identify when they're in their seedling stages. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have an awesome day.